Hello everybody, Princess and the Bear here, and today we're here with something really special for yes. Takeout Tuesday! Takeout Tuesday. This is a place we've been wanting to order from for a while. Yes. We've tried it before, but now we have it here in our home, the Zen Butcher. Yeah, and we can't typically order from them not being restaurants, so this is great. Yeah, we're gonna cook this up and have us some uh, Zen Butcher, completely 100% handcrafted, all natural, cruelty free, for dinner. Thinking goodness, I'm so excited. So come along with us on this Takeout Tuesday, and then we'll give it our normal review. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. Be sure to have banana. You heard the girl. So we were able to, in the time of our self-isolation, to get uh, pre-catered meals from them delivered to our house. Now we had to schedule this ahead of time, but here we are on our Tuesday. Try it out. So we got a plethora. We basically ordered the whole menu. The empanadas we've had once before at our Jack's Veg Fest video. Mmm. Right. Okay. This is really good. I'm about to inhale this. So I could eat these and probably. Not a difference one way or the other. I give it a solid three out of five plus. Pork pincho, boom. Our two sides, which is yucca moha and ras. Carne guisada, vegan all handcrafted. And then because Bear was feeling nice, a giant vat of vegan queso. Why not? It's coconut milk based. Yeah. And then uh, we got some corn tortillas to throw it all in. So, where do you want to start? I think I want to start with these glorious empanadas that I remember from our last video. Nice and thick. Yeah. Beautiful little crust. They cooked very nicely. They smell amazing. Well, yeah. Mmm. 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 It's the same chorizo. Mmm. It's good. Yep. Mmm. Some nice flavor to it. Spices all the way through. A little bit of heat. Not too much, not too little. Mmm. -hmm. And a nice bite all the way through. It's filled. I'm not skipping you at all on this. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. Wow. I would definitely order this on my own. Four to five plus. So good. So tasty. Then we have these pork. What's it? Kinkies? Kincho? Pinto? Little plant based pork here's on a stick. Eat it like this. Yeah. Okay, why not? You ready? I guess. You look I mean, scared. How how much of this are you gonna eat in one bite? I don't know. Just like maybe like the top two. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. Well, let's go. Mmm. It's got a nice meat texture to it. Like a tender little pork nugget. The seasonings are there. I wouldn't go so far as to call it pork. But it's close. It's very close. I don't know what pork tastes like, but it tastes like a, a vegan meat to me. Like it, it actually tastes fake. It's a little hard. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little, I don't know, it's like tough to chew. It's not like soft and it doesn't like, like usually when you have meat on a stick, it kind of like melts in your mouth a little bit. This doesn't really do that, but it does have a lot of really good flavor. I can just tell based on eating it, that it's not meat. Okay. I can see that. Which isn't a bad thing. Especially there's a lot of vegans out there that don't want their It does sort of have like, like that meat. slow cooked pork nugget texture. Like, so like, 
it's it's not like a it's less of a skewer and more of like a say like bourbon chicken sort of consistency like on a stick like well cooked okay so i give the pork three out of five plus and then we have this plate of the rice yuca mojo and the carne guisada with the rice which looks like it has some uh plant-based meat pieces in it too Ooh, some peppers yeah it does i see I can't tell if those are like miniature peas or like yeah peppers. peas i think hmm. which it looks fabulous Let's try the rice. Flavorful season. Not overcooked. It's like all I had to do was heat it up and it came out basically perfectly. I don't know, it's a little bland to me. Is it? It doesn't I mean, have got, a lot of flavor. I got peppers and spices in my bite. Yeah, let me let me try again. Mm. I mean, it's definitely broth cooked or some sort. It almost tastes like it's trying to be a fried rice instead of a Spanish rice. So I guess I'm just a little confused by it. And I do expect like a little bit more flavor. Like I feel like it needs to be seasoned just a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna give the rice two and a half out of five paws. Next up is corn and guisada. flavor it's very tangy yes a little bit of carrot in there a little yeah carne nugget it's like all, a big carrot though carrot date mm-hmm mm. Mm -hmm. mm. apparently it soaked up the flavors mm. it's a liquid smoke mm. carne rosada it's got three and a half on a five plus very well seasoned very tasty has like that Cuban flavor to it. I like it. Very good. As for this Yucca Mojo. deep yucca there's an onion a couple other things in there it's very Herbs. oniony i think there's lime yeah Can we eat some cilantro that's really good mm. it's like you expect it to be like a mashed potato but it's so not it's way more flavorful i like that a lot more i want to try the queso Coconut. Very coconutty. I you know how I feel about that. I mean, I knew it was coconut based when it came, but mm -mm. that's like mostly coconut milk with like some other very faint flavors. It's not. Mm, not too much. I can tell like it was like jam. seasoned to be like a queso, but. The coconut's just so overpowering, I can much. barely taste. Too much. Yeah, that's uh, oh, ooh. It's a one out of five claws for me. Not not my jam. Way too much coconut. I yeah. Like I just. It just ate coconut. Like Straight. I tried to, to drink suntan lotion. Yeah, mm. it does. It does taste like, like that. Like copper tone. Blech. Yeah, yeah way too much. Ooh. Well. <laughs> I would say my number one is going to be the empanada still. Yeah, by far. Then um, maybe the guisada, mm -hmm. I think. Then the yucca potatoes, or the yuccas. Then the skewer. Then the rice. And then the queso. 
I'm gonna have to go with the empanadas on top, then the yucca mojo, the carne grisada, the pork, the rice, and then the queso on the bottom. Okay. So similar but different. Yeah. But uh, stuff tastes. You want to assemble a taco or no? Yeah, let's try a taco. Let's see what the with taco. Our, with, our, with our favorite pieces. Look at all that color right there. Yeah. Yeah. Taco dink. So happy Taco Tuesday and Takeout Tuesday. Goes very well together, mm -hmm. deservingly. A little bit of Cholula, this might be perfect. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing. It just needs some hot sauce. I feel like it wouldn't need hot sauce if the queso was a win. Yeah. The queso is like the weakest point, but what amazes me about this whole thing is it's in butcher makes all their own meat. So these are handcrafted, all natural meat products they put together. So not your typical store-bought all meats. And just the creativity of what they do. Mm -hmm. I love this. Um, even with the queso not being a win, I think the rest of this is amazing just for the way they did it. And I'm yes. excited to taste more things from them. Their menu seems to change. Um, and the ordering system is a bit clunky right now with you know, all the restaurants being closed, yeah. self-isolation. So like we had to pre-order, but then like we didn't get a time and then I had to email for a time. And then it's a bit wanky. A bit, we were still late. A bit janky. <laughs> but given what's going on, I can forgive a little bit of that. We're definitely going to try this place again uh, very soon. As soon as we got the ability to where the menu changes. Yeah, you're definitely. You're going to see another one of these videos from definitely. us. Definitely. They're great. Next time there is a veg fest around you and the Zen Butcher is there. Definitely try one of their empanadas or something because it's definitely worth it. Wow. Show. Have you guys been to Zen Butcher? Have you heard of Zen Butcher? If you've been there before, like other Takeout Tuesdays, we ask that you go leave them a review. Tell them the Princess and the Bear sent you. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way, but we want to share the love with while we're all self, self quarantined and isolated to support local. We want to make sure that these businesses stay around. We love what they're doing and we want to know if you do. So if there's any other places like this you think we should try. Is up in the comments as always. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.